Hey YouTube, here we are. We're working on my old <clears throat> Toyota forklift from the early 70s. Um, it had some slippage in the forward clutches on the transmission. This is a 02 FCG 15 and uh, it's just a two-speed forward and reverse, no clutch. And uh, I've already got it pretty much torn down. I took off the cage, um, took off the engine cover, propane tank, um, unbolted the transmission, took out the steering column. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there, but the clutch pedals uh, would have obstructed, not the clutch pedals, but I'm sorry, the brake pedals would have obstructed when pulling the engine. So, in order to get the transmission out, it looks like the only possible way to do it is to remove the engine and transmission together. <clears throat> Anyways, it runs good. <clears throat> it just has some issues with the, like I say, the forward clutches. So the next thing I have to do is pull the radiator. Um, I've pretty much gone through, disconnected the wiring. Like I said, pulled out the uh, steering box and uh, there was a connector down here that I had to use the pickle fork to get off um, to get the steering box out. So the steering box and steering column and steering wheel all came out together. Took off the propane tank, which was mounted here. <clears throat> I'll go over here and show you some of the things that I removed already. That's the floor plate, the floor pan, the engine cover and seat. There is the propane mounting, um, propane mount. And then this is the cage. It's upside down right now, but it was Basically, three bolts on this bracket, two bolts on the back bracket, so a total of 10 bolts to get the cage off. And um, all the other accessories. And um, so it's almost ready to, to take out. The lighting in here isn't really great, but <clears throat> I disconnected the uh, propane line here, which went to this area back here and um, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove the radiator and then I'm going to let it down. One point I wanted to make was that I was able to get this up on the ramps which was real nice. I was a little weary of that <clears throat> but <clears throat> the way I was able to get to these bolts everything in here is really tight and compact and um, I disconnected the transmission from the differential and by going underneath here with this thing up on ramps, I was able to pretty much get access to that area from up above here through the engine cavity and then down below um, between the ramps and the underside of it. So it wasn't easy, but uh, it's pretty much detached now. So we'll see when it comes time to lifting the engine out how... Uh, easy this is going to be easy or difficult removing a radiator is going to allow me some some room to move this whole assembly back and then hopefully it'll lift out and lift away when I considered disconnecting the transmission at the uh, flywheel or the not the flywheel but the bell housing there were some through bolts and it just didn't look like a good way to go um, so hopefully Things go smooth after I get the, the radiator out. Once I get, <clears throat> my next step is I'm going to lower this down off the ramps and level this thing out and then um, put the drain pan under it and drain the radiator and pull the radiator. And that's it for now. I'll pick up with the rest of it later. <clears throat> 